All right, hey, it's Professor Klein back here in the Human Anatomy Lab at Ohio University. And today I wanna to bring you a video on the female reproductive models. And with the reproductive models here for the female, let's start with this model. This is showing the skin, the fat, some skeletal structures and nervous tissue structures in addition to digestive, cardiovascular, urinary, tons of stuff in this model. So let's start just by orienting ourselves that this is anterior out here and this is posterior. You can tell because the vertebral column with the intervertebral disc in between are posterior. The yellow structure would be your spinal cord, and at this point it's probably the cauda equina coming down from the lumbar to the sacral and coccygeal region. So this is definitely posterior back here. Additionally, anterior out here, we can see some of the abdominal wall muscles. So up here, you would have the rectus abdominis, rectus abdominis. Over here, you can see there's three layers to it. The deepest layer is the transverse abdominis. And then we have the internal oblique and the external oblique. So lots of muscles in this abdominal wall. If we keep going up here, we can see some other cross sections of muscles. We won't worry about those too much as they relate to the deeper muscles and the back. However, what's been cut over here is the kidney. So it's important to note that the kidneys are posterior, lots of fat around the kidneys, but it's been cut so you can only really see the bottom part of it. Now, additionally, we've got the abdominal aorta and the inferior vena cava right next to one another. So you can also see some of the blood vessels coming down. You can see the abdominal aorta, which actually would split into the common iliac over here. It's been cut so you can see the inside, but it would be coming this way. After the common iliac, it splits into the external iliac and the internal iliac. Notice how the internal goes deep and the external stays superficial and actually will turn into the femoral artery coming down the thigh. Some other vasculature in here, kind of weaving its way down, are the ovarian artery and vein, traveling into the ovaries. And here we get to the actual female reproductive structures. This first one in here is the ovary. It's yellow, it's deep on that right side. There's also another one on the left. So with the ovaries, the ovaries will connect to something called fimbrae. Fimbrae are these finger-like projections that surround the actual ovary. And the fimbrae open up into the uterine tube. So this right here is the uterine tube. You can see it in here as well, traveling over to the actual uterus itself. This is the uterus, and the uterus comes up and turns into the vagina. So the vagina is right here. And just by looking at it, you can kind of see one, two, three structures. Vagina is in the middle. The bladder, with the urethra coming down through it is anterior. Notice how that's anterior for the bladder. Posterior, this is actually the end of the large intestine, that sigmoid colon, that rectum, and then eventually the anus. What's this? This is part of your pelvis. So this is the pelvis bone, pelvic bone that's been cut. So you can see the inside of the bone surrounding the bladder and some of these other structures. So you got bone, you got fat, skin, 
all these different structures within this area. All right, but back to the uterine tube here. After the fimbriae, fimbriae, and technically these are part of what's called the infundibulum. This first little bit of the uterine tube, also called fallopian tube, is the infundibulum. It turns into the ampulla, which the ampulla is this curved corner part of the uterine tube, and it finishes with the isthmus as it attaches to the uterus itself. So let's go ahead and pop off the structures there and now we can see a deep look into these and the first thing we notice is this is the uterus. The uterus right here with some key structures up top is the fundus. This top bump part is the fundus. The body is in the middle and then way down here would be the cervix. Now the cervix pushes into the vagina. So this tubular structure here is the vagina opening down here at the vaginal orifice. But the cervix, notice how it is the part of the uterus that pushes into or goes into the vagina. Now the uterus itself has three different layers to it. This inner layer here is called the endometrium. Endometrium, the pink pale color. The middle layer, all these structures here, the myometrium. Myometrium, the muscular part of the uterus. And then finally, the perimetrium. Perimetrium, this top layer, most superficial layer of the uterus. All right, what are some other structures here, you ask? Well, this blue structure is the pubis symphysis or the pubic symphysis. It is connecting the two pubic bones, the pelvic bones here. And on front of it is what's called the mons pubis. The mons pubis is this larger part of skin and adipose tissue that's anterior to what we would consider the vulva. So the vulva are these exterior structures after you go from the bladder and vagina. We know the bladder has the urethra coming off of it. This is where the urethra would open versus the vagina. But the vulva are these structures out here. What are some of these structures? Well, first off, we've got the labia minora labia minora right here and then labia majora see those two different layers of skin flaps over these structures but we also have the clitoris so the clitoris is up here not as clearly seen as this picture that i'm throwing up onto the screen but the clitoris is most anterior of the vulva Anything that's red that you might see in here are muscles coming across this area, a lot of pelvic muscles. But let's work our way posterior. And posterior, you can see that sigmoid colon, the rectum, this part right here. And then finally, the opening at the end is the anus of the digestive tract. Only other thing to mention is that there's a muscle within the bladder called the detrusor. That's this muscle right here. You can see it surrounding the bladder, the detrusor. And you might be asking, how does urine get all the way from the kidneys down to the bladder? Well, let's follow it up with this tubular structure here called the ureter, ureter. That's called the ureter right there. One more structure here actually, don't get this confused with the uterine tube. This is the uterine tube back here, but this is what you call the round ligament. This is a round ligament coming off the uterus itself. 
Bottom is the uterine tube. You can also see part of the broad ligament, broad ligament as shown right here. Here we can also see where the ureter travels into the bladder. This is the ureter traveling into that anterior bladder. Oh, all right, that has been your quick video on the female reproductive system. I'm Professor Klein. This is the Human Anatomy Lab at Ohio University. Thanks for watching.